I'll wait for the uh, camera to stop shaking. Hello there. It's peak up and drop off. And uh, I have a short video. It might not be too short, but what I'm going to do is share with you um, one of my finds from letgo.com. Actually, three of my finds. They all come from the same person. I only intended to get one thing, but ended up with three. So here's the story. Um, I have been collecting vintage iPods since 2003. My first iPod was the third generation polycarbonate um, with the red buttons. And uh, I've been always looking for other iPods within that same genre. And one iPod I've been looking for in particular was the 2004 uh, special edition iPod from U2. Um, after reading a Mashable article about four years ago, there was a parent at the time, an increase in the collectability of iPods. So um, I set out to kind of look for them. This is long before I discovered shopgoodwill.com and long before I discovered letgo.com. Um, I would just go and peruse uh, eBay or maybe even Amazon or sometimes even just uh, Goodwill stores or uh, Salvation Armies, you know, where we can find them. no luck, really, um, till I discovered shopgoodwill.com. But letgo.com, I've been uh, in to about two weeks now. They're not real popular, but uh, uh, it's free. You just sign up with your email and you get to choose a, 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 a search word. So in this case, what I do is I set my filters for 30 miles to 100 miles. Um, I set my price range from $1 to $50. And then uh, I put in the term Apple or Macintosh. And lo and behold, last week, up popped this item right here. This is a boxed version of uh, the special edition U2 iPod 20 gigabyte for Mac or PC. This was introduced, I think, in 2004. <clears throat> so what I did is uh, I sent a message to the seller. He lives out in Southgate. I live in the greater Los Angeles area. He lives about uh, maybe 30 miles from me. Hey, is this still available? And he said it was. It had been up on uh, let go for about a month. No one grabbed it. The ad said that it didn't work and that it had no cables, but um, it was on sale for 50 bucks. That was my limit. $1 to $50. It hit my limit, so it showed up on my radar and it said, uh, he said it was still available, so we set a time. He works Monday through Friday and I'm a stay-at-home dad, so we, we hooked up on Sunday morning and went to his house. He invited me into his garage, and there he looked for a few minutes uh, for this particular iPod. It was boxed, and I was hoping, you know, that he actually had it. But after talking with him, just we we're just kind of chatting, um, turned out we had, in the beginning, some similarities of our interests and stuff. And one thing I've learned, two things I've learned I'll, I'll share with you when you go to buy things at people's houses is one, most importantly, you don't want to act like you're the authority on the subject. You just want to be humble um, and you, you don't want to have a challenge of knowledge with the buyer or the seller. So I didn't want to go in to say, yeah, I'm, a, I'm kind of a, a Mac head. I've been into it for about six years. I'm going backwards. And, you know, honestly, for you, the viewer, for you, John, my one subscriber right now, I'm into post uh, 95 Apple. Uh, when Steve Jobs left Apple in 2000, no, I'm sorry, 1996, uh, there was kind of a long, weird spell uh, with Apple between 90, I'm sorry, 86 and 1995 when he came back. So I, I collect post uh, ICEO jobs stuff, which would be 2001. He introduced the iPod and um, I've been collecting those early series from 2001 to 2004. I kind of stop at 2004. I don't like the five through the seventh generation. That's just my personal taste. I like the earlier stuff. So anyway, uh, leads me to the the, the search for this and to get into it the guy finds it and uh, we start talking I, I take it apart and I'll take it apart for you it's a it's a black whoop, it's a third it's I believe it's a third generation uh, 2004 um, it might be 2003 I'm, I'm kind of blanking right now but it's a black iPod it has a silver bottom um, stainless bottom and it has a red dial on the from the ad it looked like the iPod was beat to heck there's a picture of I'm gonna show it a little bit closer there's a picture of the back of the iPod has signatures of the four members of the band U2. It says special edition on the back. There's a picture of them right there. So in his advertisement, I'll take the box out. It's a little tweaked on the bottom. No big deal. You know, 50 bucks. Uh, before I go any further, um, that Mashable ad I was talking about, I'll put a link in the description of this video, but apparently some buyer purchased the same 
the same iPod, the UK version, United Kingdom version, sealed, and they spent $90,000. That was ridiculous. They also had a link when I was searching uh, in 2004-ish, when the third generation, fourth generations came out, was when I started searching for them because of their collectability. I also saw that Amazon was selling used versions of this same iPod for four grand. That was way out of my reach, my price range at the time. There's no way I was going to get it. But you know those things you always look for. I actually keep a list because I'm getting older and my mind is not as sharp as it used to be. So if I go to a yard sale, if I go to a estate sale, I whip out my list, my holy grail list, looking for things just so I can be refreshed and want to look for. One thing I look for that's been on my list for a long time has been this iPod. So um, where am I going with this? Never in my wildest dreams that I think it, one would show up um, not working uh, for 50 bucks. So I had to go check it out. I had to at least check it out. So here's the original box. I was talking with the guy who sold it, and he said, um, I said, tell me a backstory. That's the second thing I've learned is from watching American Pickers is I want to know the story of the item. I can retell the story. I can actually... Um, I could actually take it to heart. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't that he, he bought it and he tried to fix it and he couldn't fix it. It turns out that uh, what he did is he, in, in early 2004, 2003, there was a CompUSA computer store next to him. And I said, oh, really? I used to shop at CompUSA. There was one next to me here in where I live. So uh, he said, yeah, I went down and I was of uh, little means and working for the place I was working for. So I got a credit card, got a credit limit. And he said, with his freshly minted card, he bought this. This was $349 when he first bought it. And um, I said, I did the same thing. Um, I didn't buy an iPod at the time. I bought something else I'll share in just a minute. But let me just open this without any further. So we get into your typical Apple uh, packaging back then. Ooh, there's the iPod. But this also came with posters. I'll get into the posters first. Looking at this, there's, I don't know what that is, but that was original. This looks like a couple of uh, foam earpieces that go in there, earbuds that originally came with it, and it looks like it's unopened. No, it's been open. Something he took out. In any event, so this came with it. What did not come with it was a charger or a, um, what do you call a, a charger or a, a one of those cubes that you, you, you hook into the iPod to charge it, the charging block. So I take these out. <clears throat> I haven't actually looked at this yet. I was saving it for the video. I'll put this away. So what do we have here? Let's, let's start with the disc first. So there's a, an install software before connecting the iPod. You gotta remember, and I think it was the second edition, a generation two, the generation one was Mac only. You could only, it was Firewire, you could only put it into a Macintosh computer. But then um, Apple was pressured to make uh, the one for Windows and iPod, which this one clearly on the box says it's for PC or Mac. So this was, uh, I have a, I picked up a second generation last week for $50 also, also on letgo.com. That's for a different video for a different time. But this one, um, you know, if you were a PC user like I was back in 2003, you, you needed the software. It had, I guess, a rudimentary version of Music Match or even iTunes so that you could load it onto your PC. Um, so they, they don't come with them today. I don't think you would get all the uh, software if there was such online. So it has, uh, you know, a relic of CD, put that aside. This is a coupon. You get $50 off if you want to buy the full U2 collection. You get $50 off. I think it was like $150 or something like that. Might have been $300. But apparently there's 25 rare and unreleased tracks. You could use this as a coupon within the first 120 days of your purchase and buy the complete U2 on iTunes. I'm, uh, I'll be honest with you and tell you that I like maybe two I, U2 songs. I'm not a U2 fan. I like The Alarm better. The Alarm reminds me of um, U2 in a way, but I like The Alarm much better. Mike Peters and The Alarm. What else we got here? Uh, your one-year limited warranty. This iPod is 14 years old, so poop, that's not going to help me. Uh, this is uh, every week get free, you know, apparently it's an ad for iTunes. iTunes wasn't as huge as it is now, but, uh, you know, I don't need that. I, I, I loathe iTunes. I use it, but I don't like using it. I'll say that. User agreement, actually in paper, it's not, uh, it's not online. What's this? Oh, yeah, Apple. It looks like he peeled one off, but I got an Apple sticker, a white Apple sticker. I don't recall seeing one on his car. But uh, we get into the posters here. Let's see. I guess it's one poster. It's two sides. It reads. I'll read it to you. It says, the hardest thing to do is to stick together mates, family, marriage. I can't read that. It's probably Bono that wrote it. Looks like bruises. Hands. It's like resisting gravity. Dot, 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 dot. It's like King... 
something. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to get feedback on this and someone's going to recite the whole thing from memory, but sitting in his chair trying to talk back the tide, but you can and we have and we will, and then there's a word scratched out, then the waves around, the alternate is too predictable, you did the room of argument, not empty your life. The people, you, it sounds like a song. It says Bono 04. It's Bono 04, whatever you call them. Bono, Bono. There you go. And there's, there, there's them walking on the beach, you know, walking on the beach. It's probably part of the song, and I'm, I'm ignorant as they come. But it has the complete poster. Check that out. I guess you could frame it in all the crease marks, but eh, my 2003 didn't come with a poster from Apple. I'll tell you that much. But uh, let's put the software away, and I'll get to the actual iPod. So we start talking as I'm doing this, we start talking about our things at the uh, CompUSA. So he says to me, well, what did you buy with your CompUSA credit? And I said, I bought a thousand dollar camera is what I bought. It was a Sony D85. It had a hot shoe. It came with, um, it, what did it come with, Maury? It came with, uh, uh, let's see, it came with a hot shoe and an optional flash. And I used that camera. I took probably more than 10,000 photos on it. It was 4.1 megapixel. Anyway, we got into it. I said, I said, I spend $1,000 on that. He goes, I can beat that. Um, I said, really? Well, I'll tell you the rest of that story in just a moment. Well, let's look at this first. It doesn't work. Buttons. No, it doesn't work. doesn't turn on. He said he had owned it for a year. Well, he, he'd owned it for 14 years, actually. But for the first year, it worked, but then it didn't work. Here's the backside of it. And you can see a little bit. It's not scratched up. It's actually pretty good. L listen, that's my ringtone. It's Kill Bill. Uma Thurman, her whistle from Kill Bill. My wife, it drives my wife nuts. That's why I have it. <sighs> I get, I'll wait for it to end. But anyway, so there's the back of the iPod. They're relatively easy to take apart with a sponger. Um, I, I'm going to order a battery for it and get it working again. I'm assuming that's it. Even if it didn't work for 50 bucks after reading that 2004 article, hey, you're looking for your holy grail? I didn't care. I just wanted to have it. I'm not going to sell it for $4,000. It's probably worth 50 bucks, to be honest with you. I, the, the hype for used iPods has uh, since died out. I'll, I'll, tell, I'll be honest with you and tell you that. But, you know, when you have a personal holy grail list and it, something pops up for a price you can reasonably afford, for me, I could afford it because, um, honestly, what I do is I ask my family members for you, uh, not you two, I ask them for Amazon gift cards for all of my events, birthdays, uh, Christmas, uh, things like that. I mean, if they go turn their change in, they can get um, Amazon gift cards from Coinstar. Uh, I get Am I store an Amazon cards and I usually save up like 300 bucks and I splurge on something I wouldn't typically buy. And this year for Christmas, I bought myself a Nintendo Switch thinking uh, it would be great to uh, have some vintage video games going on the Switch. Uh-uh. That ain't happening with the Switch. It's so hot today in Los Angeles. Let me take a drink of water real quick. So what I'll do is I'll post another video once I, I'm going to do a teardown of this iPod. I'll do a teardown video and um i know what it is i think that's my wife she's, she's at her weight watchers meeting right now she's probably real excited she just did her way in i can tell what the time is she's probably lost over 60 pounds now you know yay jennifer if you're watching this i'm so proud of you um i love you very much um so i sold the switch uh on let go i sold it on let go for 225 bucks as soon as i posted it on on uh, let go i had probably four inquiries i couldn't believe it's it like midnight I post it on let go, bing, I get, uh, I get a message from somebody, hey, is this still available, bing, hey, is this still available, bing, will you take any less than 225, so I blocked that person, because my ads clearly was long, I like to tell stories like I'm doing now, uh, I'm a storyteller, but um, I, I said uh, 225 firm, you know, this thing has been adult owned, no child has touched it, no, no, uh, no one but me, I put seven hours in a game that uh, Ben and I played called, uh, what was it called? It was on the PS4. It was PS2, I think. It was uh, some... It doesn't even matter. It was some game that... I said, hey, I recognize that. And I got it from the eShop from Nintendo. And I got bored with the thing. So I sold it for $225. I took the $225 and I, and I got $50 of it. And I, I bought this little gem here. Yay! <sighs> so that's it. That's the YouTube video. So we get back to the story of what did you buy? And I told them I bought a Sony camera because I had young kids at the time. Let me box this back up. <clears throat> and uh, he said, you know, once I paid off the, this iPod, um, I used the rest of my credit. I put this to the side. And he said, I bought a computer. I spent the entire 2000 I had on a computer. And I said, really? Which one did you get? 
he said, I bought a Mac, an iMac. I spent two grand on an iMac. He says, actually, it's right behind you in a box. So I turned around, I looked down, and I, I didn't see it. It was, uh, he had plastic bags covering the screen, covering the base of it, so it wouldn't get too damaged from the dust. And I said, oh, that's kind of interesting. Um, tell me about this thing. Why is it in the garage? I'm not using it. He said, I used it for a long time, but, um, you know, um, it's just old. I, I'm, I have an iPad now, and I don't uh, use my, of course, my iPod doesn't work anymore. This one. I didn't ask, I didn't, you know, I stand around, I just inquiry. Again, you don't say, well, you know, you really should, you know, put a flash drive in this and you can put a new battery in it, blah, blah, blah. I wanted to buy it. I don't want to, I don't want to encourage him not to fix it. I want to fix it myself. So uh, he said, yeah, the Mac was old. And uh, he said, really, what I need to do is take all my data off of it. And, uh, and that's all I'm really keeping it for is for that. And I said, well, gee, you know, I could do that for you. I said, in fact, I'll give you 40 bucks for your computer and I'll take the data off, put it on a flash drive and I'll come back with 40 bucks in cash and give you the flash drive that I'll buy and $40 in cash. And he said, you know, that sounds like a good idea. I'd built a rapport with him. I wasn't berating him. I, I had already paid him $50 in cash for my uh, Holy Grail boxed, which I'll hopefully fix. If I don't, I don't care. I just goes in my collection. I collect 2004 iPods. I have, I collect the minis you probably saw in another video, but I've always wanted this for maybe Dang, um, for as long as I've seen it, probably close to over a dozen years, I wanted to get one of these just out of my price range. Now I have it. So I, I paid him that. This thing's in my possession now. I'm holding on to it for dear life. He says, uh, do you like you too? And I said, no, my wife kind of likes you too, which came out of my mouth. I, if you're watching this, Mr. Seller, I'm, I'm, I fibbed. Please forgive me. I said, I'm actually buying the iPod so that I can fix it up and give it to her, my brother and I. And uh, he's the Mac head. I'm learning from him. And uh, he he goes, here, have this too. <laughs> What's this? And he said, uh, it's you too. See, you too. It's a box. I haven't even opened this yet, but apparently it's a limited edition bespoke box containing an album CD. It contains uh, a DVD of Anton Corbin's exclusive film, a 64-page hardback book, plus a fold-out poster. I'm assuming it's all there. There's the poster. There's... CDs and stuff. He goes, give this to her too. Now we built a report. So by then, he, this had happened before I'd asked about the Mac. So he just gives this to me. Are you sure you want money for it? Nah, just take it. So we built a report and he trusted me that I was going to take good care of his iMac and take the data off and give it back to him. So um, this is it. Right here. This is the iMac. It's a 2003. It was built in June of 2003. You can't see the whole thing, but you know, it's one of the pivot ones. I've I've, I've never actually touched one of these. I've been doing this. Again, I'm not an old school classic Mac head. Um, I've only been doing it uh, since 2012, I think. I got fresh. I was a Windows user through and through. Built a, I all built my computers uh, for a very long time. I took pride in not really buying them new. I, the only one I bought new was a Dell, and then I modified it. But um, I've been doing this since the Gulf War, 2000, no, 1991. Um, built a BBS. It's not about me. It's about this purchase, but... Uh, I've never actually touched one or this thing's heavy. You ever pick one of these things up? My gosh, these things are heavy. But uh, I was excited for 40 bucks. The guy spent two grand on it in 2004, 2003, I think. Um, what it is, it's a 17 inch flat panel, one gigahertz system. It um, has an 80 gigabyte hard drive, 5,400 RPM. There is a two times, uh, what do you call it? They're called super drive built in. The RAM is 256 megabytes, not gigabytes, megabytes. The maximum RAM you can put in this unit is uh, one gigabyte. It's PowerPC, it's pre-Intel. I think the highest um, software it runs is uh, 10.4, that'd be Tiger. And I have a Tiger install disk, so I'm hoping it's not corrupted. What he gave me the impression was he just grew bored of it. I, I didn't realize at the time I was so excited to get you know a third thing. Here, I got the iPod, right? Got the iPod, number one for 50 bucks. And then you know we start talking and we start connecting. He's like a well, like a younger version of myself, not too much younger. And it gives me this, right? It's excited. That's item number two, free. And now I'm excited that I'm going to get a 17-inch flat panel iMac from the same era that I love collecting from 2001 to 2004. And this thing's 2003, right in my wheelhouse. So um, I'm saying, you know I, what I could do? I won't even look at your pictures. I don't know what you have on it, but I'm not going to lure if that's not me. Um, I'll just take the hard drive out and put it in an enclosure. And you can just plug it into your USB port. 
he says, I don't even know what that means. I didn't realize at the time, I think it has a SCSI drive in it. I don't know if you can get, if I haven't looked at, I haven't even turned it on. I'm going to do this in this video. It's going on 20 minutes, but I'll, I'll do 10 more minutes to make a half hour video of it. I just want to see if it boots up and then I'm going to work on it later. But um, I said, listen, I'll just, he says, give me a flash drive. I can deal with that. My wife, he says, has a MacBook Pro and I can do whatever on her MacBook Pro, but I don't even know. I just want my files off it. You can have it. I said, I got to get, I got to give you something for it. So I offered him 40, he took 40 for it. I'm going to start this up. I just plugged, I have a, a mouse that came with it. He gave me a, an old keyboard, a plug-in keyboard, but um, honestly, it looked a little toasted. So I bought this one. This is a, this is a period specific keyboard. Let's see here. It's a wireless keyboard for that same area. It's, it's, it's a, a four battery one. It should work for this, but I'm going to, I'm just going to turn it on and see if it boots for you. That's all. And then later tonight, for the rest of the tonight, what I'm going to do is, um, there goes my text message. Uh, the, what is, what do you call it? The, the tone is, um, the communicator from Star Trek. I'm a Trekkie. I'm not so much into Star Wars. You know, there goes like two of my subscribers. I'm into, I'm a Trekster. I like Star Wars, but I'm more Trek. Oh my gosh. My wife is probably again telling me how much weight she's lost. Um, I'm gonna put this down. We'll see what happens. <sighs> so hot today. Let me get another drink. So the seller, um, let go. Super cool guy. He's kind of the opposite of every um, seller that you run into from uh, on Craigslist, you know. I'm, I'm probably just going to give up on Craigslist after going with let go because I've got so many deals. Sunday when I picked this up, I had three stops. The second stop I'm going to shoot another video of because it, it'll take another half hour to explain that second gem. And the third gem really was a uh, um, an extra power supply for an IBM ThinkPad that I have bought at the thrift store for 25 bucks. It's a whole other story in itself. Uh, real quick on the ThinkPad, um, they took the RAM out and thinking that all the, their memory, all their precious information was stored on the RAM. They left the hard drive in. So I went to Mr. Chip uh, in San Diego. He's, he deals in vintage uh, used memory card chips, especially these days because memory is getting expensive. I don't know why. I guess memory and video cards, people are using them for mining Bitcoin. But um, I go to Mr. Chip, you can find him on uh, lowendmac.com. His name is Mo Hamad, M-O-H-A-M-M-A-D, Mo Hamad. And he sells on the low end Mac uh, swap list, which is a user, I'm sorry, it's a Google uh, group that you subscribe to. And then uh, people post things that they want, people they're seeking, I'm sorry, they, they post things that they're looking for, wanted to buy for sale or for trade. And Mr. Chip, when you actually buy something from him, your receipt from PayPal is Mr. Chips. I call him Mr. Chip instead of Mohammed. That just, uh, anyway, I'm sure he's a sweet guy, but I called him up as soon as I bought this little gem and I ordered two, uh, 256 megabyte um, period specific uh, memory chips, memory slot RAM for this for six bucks. They're $3 a piece, $3 a ship for $9. I'm gonna increase, I'm gonna double the RAM in this. Um, but the goal first is not to goof with it, but just uh, to boot it up, get the guy's information off and give it to him with the 40 bucks in this thing. This baby will be mine. Uh, I'll tiger and everything. So let me get my fat body into the camera. I'm going to reach around. I don't even know whether I've never seen one of these things boot. Now here's the power button. I hope this lights up. I really do. No, that's the Kensington lock. Here's the power button. I can hear it moving. That's good. I hope it lights up. If it does, oh, okay. So we got the chime, the Mac chime. We'll see if we get a sad Mac or if it actually lights up. I don't need, oh, there's my favorite cat getting in the video. He heard me out here working. There's the Apple logo. Yay, Apple logo. Can you see that? It's, okay, you can see it well enough, I guess. You see my cat's head on the left? That's a Jags, Jaguar, or the Jags. Of course, he's gonna walk in front of the computer. Because that's what cats do, right? That's You know the internet's working when you, you have a, a picture of your cat in the video. That's what people tell me. Check that out. Whoops, the guy's name's up there. So um, eh, Anyway, I hope you didn't see that. But that was his real name. He, he had a, like I do, I don't put my real last name on the uh, my account with, um, what do you call it? Uh, Letgo.com. I have my, my real first name, my nickname, and my last name. And initial, he had a fictitious first and last name, so I had to call him his first and last name. But we became kind of uh, 
trusting of one another and he gave me his uh, real name and his telephone number so I can give him his information. But that's pretty much it. A boots, I need to contact him now and get his, uh, what do you call it? I need to get his uh, password. So I'll move this out of the way so you can't see his name. There's my cat once again. Jags. You don't see my cat, do you? Um, it boots. Um, I got a guest screen and I, have, I just have to get his password and I can extract his data. And that's pretty much it. Um, so I picked up three things from this guy. Uh, I'm loving it. So I think at 25 minutes, I'm going to go check my mail. I think my wife is telling me how much weight she's lost on the Weight Watchers, which is awesome. And then afterwards, we're going to go celebrate uh, dinner at the Clean Jumpa. So her and her twin sister are uh, going through this together. So they both collectively, I think, have lost 110 pounds together in the last six months. Um, so I'm really proud of my wife. Actually, i got to stop eating the junk food and lose weight myself. So I'll post another video um, of the second purchase I made from letgo.com. You really have to check it out, people, viewers. One, I have one subscriber, um, Accelerate. you, you got to check that out, Mr. Accelerate. Um, the one thing I like about it, it's not like Craigslist where tons and thousands of people pour through that and you get idiots that come out of the woodwork on Craigslist. Letgo is relatively new. You probably haven't even heard of it yourself. And the stuff stays up there. This thing said was up there for a month. No one grabbed this for a month. But then again, you know, your little niche things that you collect. Um, a battery, I'll pick up a battery for this for 10, 15 bucks, and then I'll probably make another video of cracking it open. It's super simple. All you need is a plastic sponger. I have plastic and metal spongers. They, they, they get torn up pretty fast, but um, I have a local Fry's Electronics next to me. You can buy them for $6 for four. So you can't do it. If you do it with a screwdriver, um, which I'll show you in my second video, someone tried to take apart this item with a screwdriver. They just gouge the the you know what out of it and uh dumb they didn't use a mac cracker on it i don't own a mac cracker i just got to make one but i don't need to use one now because they totally live in daylights out of this thing that i picked up for uh 20 bucks that's for a different project a different video and here's the thing is i remember uh when i took speeches to land the plane and when you're doing videos you need to land the plane so i'm landing it right now um, if you like what you've seen subscribe uh give me feedback someone just walked into the house i think it's my wife so i gotta go Hope you liked the video. Talk to you later.